Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Believe it or not, the last few videos I have made was to demonstrate to you how we do this particular problem. This problem is, it seems innocent enough, but it's actually a very beautiful question that requires um, us to master our, uh, uh, all the knowledge that we have so far accumulated. So let's read what the question says. The question states, and this is actually from your uh, textbook and uh, from page 196 if you are interested, page 196 of your textbook, it says line L contains points negative 5, 3, and 4, and negative 6. So uh, I've actually drawn this particular line, line L, lowercase l over here, and if you recall in geometry, we label lines with lowercase letters um, as well. So. And here's a Cartesian plane. Each little box here represents uh, increments of 2. So it's 2, 4, 6. And this negative 2, negative 4. And this is going to be like over here. Uh, negative 5 right here. And 3 over here. So this is negative 5, 3. And in the same way, uh, so and 2, uh, 4. And then down over here to give us negative 6 right here. 4, negative 6. So those are the two points that are on this particular line L. And I've actually connected those two dots to give us this particular line line L. There we have it. Okay, so that's the first part of the statement. So line L contains points negative 5 and 3 and 4 and negative 6. And then it says, find the distance between this, uh, between this line, between line L and the point uh, that's 2 and 4. So let's try to draw that point out. That's 2 and that's uh, 2 and 4. So right there. So here's the point and they give that point a name, so that's, they call that P, so let's label that P, and that's 2 and uh, 4, the ordered pair is 2 and 4. So our job here is to find the distance between this point and this line here. Okay, so how do we go about doing that? The, fir the first thing to appreciate here is that the distance between a point, any particular point, and in line is the perpendicular distance from that point to the line. In other words, if I have this particular point here, point P, how far is this from this line, line L over here? Well, how are you going to measure the distance, right? So to measure the distance between a point and a line, actually we measure the perpendicular distance. It's like, like this, okay? So this distance over here, the perpendicular distance uh, here, the length of this particular segment here, would be, the, uh, would be the distance of the point to the line. So again, the distance between a point and a line is the perpendicular distance. We imagine a, a segment like here uh, that's perpendicular to this line like this, and then we measure that distance, uh, and this distance here would be the distance between the point and the line. Now, that's very important to understand because, you know, how, how else would you measure the distance between a point and a line, right? Because, you know, it's not, uh, it's not like this distance right or this distance or that distance that so how do you measure the distance the distance in fact is the distance between the point and the line as measured by the per this perpendicular segment right here so in order to find the distance we have to find this particular segment here the length of that particular segment here so in our in our scenario we have this line l and we have this point p and if we were to find the distance between this line and this point p we would have to find this particular distance and it looks like to me it's going to be like that okay so that's the distance we need to find okay so uh, the distance from from this point over here uh, right here on the line i think it's going to be over there the red point over here in this point p uh, that's the distance that we find well how do we find the distance between two points right and, okay well if we have if you were to know what this particular point is right here the red point over there then uh, we can uh, find uh, the distance by using the distance formula. Of course, we know our distance formula. The distance between two points is the square root of uh, x2 minus x1 um, squared plus uh, y2 minus y1 squared like this, right? Or you can say in a more simplistic way, the change in x squared plus a uh, change in y squared. Okay, so we got that. So we know how to find distance between two points using the distance formula. This is the distance formula again is a square root of, uh, a square root of, of change in x squared plus change in y squared like I have written over there. Now that's that's good, but we don't know what this point is. We don't know what this point over here is, right? So how are we going to find that? Well, we're going to find it 
Oh, that's a very good question. So we, what we're going to do is, in fact, what we, we're going to find the equation of the line that contains this point. Okay, now watch this, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to find the equation of the line that contains point P and this point of intersection here, point L over there, like this, okay? So we're going to find the equation of this line, the white line over here, and then we have two equations, the equations for this line and line L, and then we're going to solve for the intersection using the elimination method or the substitution method to find this. So it's a uh, kind of like, you know, a bit of a complicated uh, step, not a complicated, but a stepwise process to go through. Okay, so hang with me. As I said, this is a beautiful question. Uh, not all questions are simple or, or straightforward, so this actually tests all of our knowledge, and therefore I, I love it. So step one, let's do this. So line L contains that and that, and find the distance between line L and point, uh, uh, then this particular point. Okay, first of all, uh, let's find the equation of line L. Okay, so we don't know what the equation of line L is, so let's go about finding uh, the equation of line L. How do we go do? How do we do that? Well, if you remember, uh, the way you find equations of any particular lines, if you're given two points, is you can find it in the slope intersect an intercept form y equals m x plus b, uh, or you can find it in the point slope form y minus y1 equals slope times the quantity x minus x1, okay? So we're given two points here. We can go about finding the uh, the equation of the line uh, in this two uh, two form. If you recall the, the steps were, again, the first step was to find m. So we're going to find m, okay? So this is uh, uh, find m for line l, okay? So the uh, slope, again, is a change in y over a change in x. I'm doing this very methodically. You, I'm giving you all the steps. Okay, so let's find change in y over change in x. So the first step here is to find the equation of line L. So that's what I'm doing here. So finding, finding uh, equation for line L. That's our first step of the journey here. All right, so, so change in y over change in x. Okay, so I'm going to use this. So 3 minus minus 6, that's change in y. I'd be careful here. 3 minus minus 6, that's the change in y. And the change in x is going to be minus 5 minus 4, like this. Okay, so that's going to be 6, 7, 8, 9 over, uh, that's n uh, negative 9, it looks like to me over here. Okay, so the slope it looks like is negative 1. Okay, so that's easy enough. So what's the second step of finding the equation of line L? Well, the second step is to find B, right? So how do I find B? Well, I write my working equation so far. Y is equal to slope. That's negative 1. So at negative 1x plus B. And that's what I'm looking for here. So plus B. Now I take either one of these points and I substitute over here into this equation. I take either this point or this point and then substitute there into the equation to find B. All right, so it doesn't matter which one I pick, I'm just gonna pick this one for now. So um, X is negative five, Y is three. So make sure you substitute in the right place. Y is three and negative one times X is negative five um, plus B over here. So three is equal to five plus B and, and you subtract five from both sides over here like this and that goes away, so b is going to be negative 2. All right, there we go. So now we have our b and we have our y, so we can write the equation of line l over here. That's going to be y is equal to minus 1x plus b, which is negative 2. So there it is. So I have the equation for my line, line l, right there. So that's the step 1. So uh, I'm going to maybe write this in like a yellow step, step number 1. Okay, so now I have that. What do I need to do now? Well, the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, line, find the equation, this white line. So I'm, the book labels this white line W. So let's my, we might as well label that our white line W. So I'm going to find the equation of this second line, um, uh, uh, equation of line W. So, okay, so we're going to find the equation for line W, the white line that I've drawn over here. 
Okay, so how do we do that? Well, what we do know is that this white line is, is perpendicular to the green line here, right? Because uh, we find the distance from P to uh, this particular green line as a perpendicular distance. So this is a perpendicular uh, line. So these two lines are perpendicular. So, okay, so again, there's only two steps uh, of, of, of uh, in finding the equations of any line. So we're going to do the same thing. And then here... Um, we can do it the same way. We, we need to find the slope of this particular line, um, the slope of line W, let's just say. And that's going to be easy because that's perpendicular to this other one, and it's going to be negative reciprocal, right? Uh, it's going to be negative reciprocal because it's perpendicular to the uh, other line. So it's going to be negative reciprocal of the other line. If the slope here is 1, the negative reciprocal of, uh, slope is of negative 1, the negative reciprocal of that is, okay, so here's negative 1, and if you flip that, that becomes 1 over negative 1. If you take the negative reciprocal of that, and that becomes 1. So so the negative reciprocal of negative 1 is 1. So the slope over this line is simply 1. There we go. Ta-da. So I got that. So what do I do now? Well, step 2 is, is basically you, you can find, find B. So let's see if you can find, uh, find B. Okay, we'll use this method here. Okay, so that's okay. Let's how do we do that? I write my working equation y is equal to one x. That's the slope we found, plus b, and I can substitute any point that's on the line. Well, I know p is on the line, right? So I can use that. That's the only point I have. So I can use that. So y is four is equal to one times x. X is two over here. So uh, one times x plus b. So I substitute a point p over here to find b and b and solve this over here so subtract 2 from both sides so you'll get b is equal to 2 that makes sense it kind of looks like that doesn't it? the y-intercept is looks like 2 so now i can write the equation of line w so the line w is going to be y is equal to mx the slope is 1 1 x plus b which is 2 Ta -da. so i have that so let's me let me just write that over here y is equal to x plus 2 that's the equation of the other line. So now I have the equation of these two lines. Okay, now what do we do? So so I have the two lines. Well, I need to figure out the whole thing. Was, I need to figure out this particular point, right? And um, your book calls that point, point Q, actually. So we might as well call that point, point Q. So let's call that point Q, PQ, right? So we need to find the intersection of those two lines. So let's see, let's go down over here at step three is going to be find the intersection of the two points which is point q okay so so we need to find q well how do we do that well first we write down the two equations of the lines that we have derived so here's line l y is equal to minus x minus 2 and the other equation is y is equal to 1x right uh plus 2 here we go yeah, make sure I copied that wrong. X plus two. Okay, so those are the two equations, and all we have to do is find. Uh, 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 we have to solve this uh, uh, systems of equations, a set of equations, to find the intersection, right? Well, how are we going to do that? Well, there's a whole bunch of ways you can do this, and you can use substitution. You can substitute this in place of y over here, um, or in this case, you can just add them because, as you can see, that's negative one and that's one. If you add them together, the x's disappear. So any which way you do it, you can either use substitution or you can just add these two equations together. In this case, they're just kind of staring at me. It's negative one and one. They're opposite. Their coefficients are opposite. So I'm just going to add the two together. So I get 2y is equal to these cancel out. And that's zero. And y is equal to zero. Ooh, that's kind of like, okay, well, y is equal to that. That might scare you, but zero is a legitimate honest-to-God number, right? Okay, there's nothing wrong with zero. It's a good real honest to God real number okay fine y is zero then I substitute that in either one of these equations to find x okay I'm going to substitute it over here so I substitute that in place of y I guess zero equals one x uh, plus two and I subtract two from both sides like this and then I get x to be uh, negative two so here it is so my ordered pair is x is negative two and y is zero that's the, that's the solution to this system of equations okay so, um, and that's, that's Q, and that looks right. Negative 2, 0 looks right, correct? So that's 0, uh, X is negative 2 and 0. I wrote that here. Okay, wowzers. Okay, so I have those two points. 
all that then I all have to do is find the distance between those two points okay so let's let's see let's do that over here so step number four is find the distance between PQ or find uh, PQ right that's the distance between that, that PQ and the, the way we do that is using the distance formula that is change in X squared um, plus a uh, change in Y squared like this and uh, the, the P and Q are two and uh, four and negative two and the um, zero so let me just write down where P is going to be two four and Q is going to be uh, negative two and zero so let's do this very carefully so don't make any silly mistakes so here we go so PQ or the distance between uh, those two points is equal to the square root of now x minus uh, x x2 minus x1 doesn't matter which one is which so I'm just going to use this so 2 minus be careful over here 2 minus minus 2 okay squared okay it's like that be careful that you don't mess with the, there's a negative sign here and there's a negative 2 over here so don't make mistakes with the negative that's what the uh, students most commonly do okay so be careful with that so 2 minus minus 2 x minus uh, x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 so 4 minus 0 squared like this okay so that's going to be let me see if I could do this properly all right let me put that. so let me yeah, that's I got a little bit more room here so I'm not crowding myself so that's that's 4 right so that's that's 4 square is 16 and plus 4 square is 16 and uh, this ends up being uh, square root of 32 okay so that's square root of 32 now you can simplify this if you wanted to uh, you know like okay this is 16 times 2 right so uh, using prime factorization so that's 16 times 2 and uh, 32 16 times 2 and you can take out a 16 like that's a perfect square so that becomes 4 times square root of 2 like this so PQ or the distance between point and the line is 4 times the square root of 2 like this or as like your book did uh, your book just basically calculated it uh, punched that in the calculator and that ends up being approximately uh, 5.66 that's what this squiggly mean, sign means approximately 5.66 and that is the answer to our question so the distance between that point and that line point uh, is is uh, four times the square root of two or approximately 5.66 now that's a beautiful question so let's see what we did as a review before we finish okay here we were given a line okay we were given two points actually and those two forms uh, those two points formed a line line L and we were asked to find the distance between that line and another point that was point P first we recognize the distance between a point and a line is the perpendicular distance that's from P to this uh, hypothetical point that's a point of intersection of uh, of this line the white line with the green line so we said okay we need to find this distance in order to find in order to find that distance first thing we had to do is find the equation of both of these lines so that's what we did and we know how to find equations of line and there are two ways of doing this in the, in the slope intercept form and the point slope form I went about going in the slope intercept form I found the slope and I found the y intercept for the green line and I, I found the equation of the green line and then I went about finding the equation of the white line the, the line that's perpendicular to it and I recognized that perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocal negative reciprocals like that okay so if the, if the slope here was negative 1 the negative reciprocal of negative 1 is 1 and then I found the y-intercept and I found the equation of the second line over here so I found the equation of the white line now when we have the uh, the two uh, equations of the lines then we found the interse uh, intersection of those two lines the, uh, the point of intersection by solving those two systems of equations which is what I did over here and I found the, their solution the point of intersection to be negative 2 and zero that was that was point Q so that was point Q was negative 2 and 0 now that we knew what point Q was then we went about finding the distance between P and Q so we found the distance between P and Q using the, the distance formula and that's the distance formula was uh, change in x squared plus change in y squared and squared of the whole thing like this and I was very uh, careful not to make mistakes with the negative signs and we found the distance between PQ distance between point and the line so the distance between the point and the line was 4 times the square root of 2 or approximately 5.66 so and that is a beautiful question 
and I hope you appreciate it and I hope you're able to uh, master this uh, um, these type of problems uh, because I do think actually they're fun to do until next time as-salatu wassalamu alaykum